Hey bro, I know that when you travel, you use Google Maps. But do you know that especially if you're traveling in a place like Europe when there are a lot of borders, you should use another app instead? In this video, I will show you which app you should use when you travel in these kind of countries. It doesn't matter if you go by bike, by car or by horse. In any case, this app is for you. So sit down, relax and enjoy this video. <laughs> I'm going for a road trip from Venice, where my family is, all the way to Zmajevac, which is a city in Croatia, very close to the Serbian border. In the next video, you will figure out why I'm going there, but let's start this video talking about the trip. As you can see with Google Maps, it's telling me that this route has tolls and then I'm crossing through Slovenia. There is something that Google Maps is not telling me, that the tolls in Slovenia works in a different way than usual. You must pay in advance all of the week or month that you're staying in the country using the highway. And as you can see, there's an alternative. I could go this other way and crossing through Croatia, which is kind of the same length, but it's not telling me what's the difference in prices for tolls and stuff. If you want to know something more than just your ETA, you should go to a website like Via Michelin, in which I can also say what type of car I have how much the fuel cost is, let's say it's 1.6 euros per liter. Look at this, I can avoid tolls or avoid vignettes, which is exactly what's going on in Slovenia. They use a vignette system. And then when I search, it's showing me the same way the other website was showing me, but it's telling me the price. It's gonna be 104 euros for the trip, which includes 27 euros of motorway tolls. So if I go on options and I do avoid vignettes, you see that I spent four euros less. It's not that much, but just so you know, if you want to plan a trip in Europe, using this kind of website will help you understand how much money you should spend for the trip. If I want, I can also modify my options again and avoid tolls completely and in that case I spent 98 but obviously it's gonna take a couple hours more so I don't recommend it but it's very important that you know in advance how much money you're going to spend for your trip but bro if you don't know where to go and you want to choose a destination in a very smart way go check out a video that I made just about that all right